Thank you very much, sir. I, I don't know where you are speaking from, um, but Simon Ekma is speaking. And I called him an imbecile, and you know I stand by that. Yes. Okay. You have, now, have that. By the way, my name is Chidi. Hmm? I don't yield to anyone in my, in my Iboness. You are not more Ibo than I am, and I'm not more Ibo than you are. Okay. Now, I cannot tell you if I tell you know my I come from and my parents lived in precisely the epicenter of the current crisis. If I tell you the amount of Ali Ibum Jigorukoga in the last three months. I have covered over 350 kilometers on foot. Nalibu. Inugo. So I'm not going to take lectures from anybody on what is happening in the Southeast. I've come in from the Southeast to the United States this week. I'm going back to the Southeast. And I'm about Alibu also. So when we come to this thing, let us all come to this thing as Aininewundibu and we understand what is going on. If you don't understand, I do. I have lost family, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. I have buried family. So you don't give me lectures about what is happening in sit at home. The first thing is when we are talking about this thing, can we respect one another? Simon Edma cannot be sitting and sleeping with a white woman in Finland. And you are telling me that he is what to you? If he is that to you, please, I will respect you and what he is to you. But when I am burying my people, my family, my blood, because of his irresponsibility, and you are giving me lectures, I'll take exception to that. I've listened to you in dignity and respect, but I do think on this matter, I know a lot more than you do. I respect your age because you're older than me, but I swear I know a lot more than you do on this particular subject matter, and I will not yield to you when you try to give me lectures.